Big guns. That better not be on my face, pal. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of controversy over these gun buybacks to begin with, and certainly if we're, we're not using tax dollars, that takes some of the uh, the edge off of people that we're wasting tax money. So that's not the case. It's it's not federal tax money. It's not local tax money. It's drug dealers' money, yeah, plain and simple. It's money that could be used back to uh, fighting uh, crime fighting and, and using it for proactive law enforcement, and that's what we're doing. Um, we looked around to see what kind of funding. There were no grants for us to use this, and then we that uh, using drug money to get permission from Washington. We, we secured that permission and here we are. It's uh, it's drug money of uh, criminals and money that's been forfeited to the federal government. We have officers assigned to uh, task forces, uh, FBI and both DA, and we work hand in hand with them. And uh, th th that is one of the benefits of having officers, task force officers. Uh, we have them, uh, Bristol Township has a task force officer, so uh, it's one of the positives that we get. We get to get money back to utilize uh, for law enforcement. It has to be used for law enforcement in, in some uh, way, shape, or form. People get guns from breaking into other people's houses, and those guns fall into the wrong hands, and those guns are, are often used in, in other robberies. It's not that often, it's, it's very often that when we lock somebody up for a robbery and we find their gun, their gun is stolen from a burglary. So now you're preventing that. You're getting that gun out of the house that uh, by their own admission, a lot of these people selling their guns today say so they don't use them. They just lay around and they're just waiting for somebody to break in and steal them. And uh, and they're smart enough to realize that it's dangerous. And here we are giving you cash in this economy. If you've got an old rifle that's beat up and you, you haven't used in 30 years, why not get you know 50 bucks for it? Why not pay for you know groceries for a couple of days? And uh, it's 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 been very very positive. Uh, you know, some people are against it, but if we can, as the mayor said, if one person doesn't get shot, for, if it costs us eighty thousand dollars. If you've ever seen an emergency room bill lately, a couple of surgeries is well over $80,000. Now, we're only talking about one person being shot. There's no doubt 200, 300, 400 guns that we're getting off the street is going to stop one accidental shooting, whether it's on purpose or accidental, and that's that's a big bill you're saving. In the interview with the, uh, the news reporters, you mentioned people breaking into houses and stealing guns. Is that something of an admission that the police can't protect to the public, that the, the break-in's going on? <laughs> This is what your interview is going to be? Yes. All right, thanks. That's what I thought. You don't want me to. That's what I said. It looks like you just dug them up out of your backyard. I'll tell you what, you stick that out of, out of a window, you just see the tip of that thing? Hell yeah, you'd be hitting the ground quick. That's the turn right there. It's like an aircraft. <laughs> Old junk. What are you going to do? do with the proceeds? Buy something that works. Buy another one. All right, good answer. That's all these guys get is scrap. So, so turn it in scrap cash for what? What are you going to do with the cash? Buy ammo? Because of money exchanges here no, in my not, parking lot, no, no. you're all getting cited. Okay, no, we told you money. two Wednesdays ago. And if I show up on TV, I work narcotics, I'm coming after you. Do you understand me? So do not fill my face. Do you understand me? Okay, that's good. Because my family will appreciate it. Okay? I won't appreciate it, and you'll get locked up. Put me in jail. Do you understand that? I thought this was a public place. It is a public place. I'm telling you, you cannot exchange money on our public place. You do not have a solicitor's license, do you? Did you apply for it? I'm not doing that. Did you guys apply for it? We told you last Wednesday that you could apply for it, and you didn't. I checked yesterday. I didn't. I never heard anyone say anything about applying for a solicitor's Corp license. That detective back there told you guys on the Wednesday no, night, you, you what, cannot all, exchange hands. You go off our property said, and do it, said for but if you're going to do it here, he said for handguns. that better not be on my face, pal. It's not on your face. So it's okay to record your voice. Handguns. He didn't want any handgun transfers because of the, it required it. He said, I don't care. You can have an FFL here. I don't care. Right, well, okay, I'm, but I'm you cannot telling, do it I'm, on my property. I'm explaining to you what right? he said. He said he didn't want handgun transfers to take place on the property. No exchange of guns can be done on our property. Uh, without a a solicitor's law, license. A yeah, it's called a solicitor's license. You can't solicit gun sales on our property without a permit. What is? How are you defining soliciting? Hey, we'll buy your gun for you. It's exchanging money. You can't do it without a permit. You're doing an open air in our township. Okay, you could have got one at Building and Planning. Okay, so I'm just telling you. You want to buy a gun? Think, go off I, I my th property to do it. I think that's a misapplication of the ordinance. Okay, Mr. There, Constable, don't tell me what the ordinance I'm is, just, okay? I'm just saying. Okay, don't tell me what the ordinance is. I've already told you. You want to exchange money for guns, do it off my property. Okay? We understand each other? I understand do what you're saying. You can do I, it all day long across the street. I don't care. I understand you're what you're saying. You're not going to do it here. To. I understand what you're saying. Everyone say peace yeah, we also also got to go off the property. We're not making any transactions on this property, right? Yep. Okay.
Tell us about how they're misapplying the ordinance. Well, I raised the question when the one officer was out here, and he was pretty emphatic, and, you know, I can understand their perspective, but uh, they were citing that there's a uh, non-solicitation ordinance, and he made the comment that we were informed about it last time we were here at the gun buyback, and we had the opportunity to get a permit for solicitation. And he said no one did that, so therefore, you cannot solicit on the premises. And, you know, I simply made the comment that I think he's misapplying the ordinance. Didn't state as fact, that's my opinion. I think they're misapplying the ordinance. And the question that I raised after the fact is not to them, but as we were discussing it, if the ordinance applies on public property, meaning this township municipal complex, and it's a township ordinance, well then, wouldn't it apply off the property? Because they told us as long as we leave the property, we can conduct the transactions. So, which is it? Does it apply on the property and not off the property? Because if that's the case, then my suggestion was correct, that, I, that they're misapplying the ordinance. I'm Lefty from Little Deadwood, York County. This is a brand new 22 Glenfield, sticker still on it. Looks completely unfired, no powder. Uh, that are very well cared for. semi auto 22 LR, beautiful. 70 bucks. Saved. 70 bucks. Saved from destruction. So what would have happened if you hadn't bought this uh, gun? It would have been cut down, melted for scrap. And stock burned. Used to disarm the citizens and then just completely destroyed. Interestingly, which is, is not highly reported, that occurs at these buybacks, and which happened uh, on February 6th, and I'm sure it's happening today from a few of the people I spoke to in line. A lot of people bring their old junk guns so they can get the, the cash, and then they go buy ammo or invest it in another higher quality firearm. So, because that's what they tell us. And Have you had anybody actually, you know... Mention that today? Not mention that, but actually, you know, um, sell you the gun and, or whatever they're bringing in instead of bringing it here? Uh, Have you had any takers On Feb February 6th, I think we saved about a dozen or 15 guns from destruction, the group of individuals that came out. And my understanding is there was a couple guns already saved today from destruction. Quality firearms that, you know, that still have merit. Okay. And so you don't seem to be a fan of these, of these programs? Uh, I'm not necessarily a fan of gun buyback programs. I understand that they have merit, and certainly for the people that are rounding up all their old junk guns and, and getting the money and using it for some other cause, that's that's good. The, I don't have a problem with that. You know, I think one of the concerns for some people is this is a little foreshadowing, because if there ever was a change, a serious change in gun laws, where there were requirements to turn guns in, this is pretty much the format that it would happen. More than 50 bucks. More than the 50 bucks you'll get in there. Yeah. What do you want? How much are you going to pay for it? Well, someone will probably give you more, but they got to do the transaction off site. That's nice. You got to. We got to. You got to leave the property. Well, you can wheel and deal here. Yeah. You can. You can discuss a price here, but you got to exchange money somewhere else. I think. Uh, J. P. Claruth and. Or Claro and Brothers, London. What did they give him fifty bucks for that? Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at that thing. That's, I'll I'll get, I'll get that's nice. I'm, I'm actually dollars side by side. Beautiful antique shotgun. He's already got a bid for a hundred. One hundred. We're at a hundred. Hundred twenty. All right, hundred twenty. This gentleman right here. 120, you gotta go off the lot to make the deal. <laughs>